very good afternoon my dear students uh, now i'm going to deliver a lecture on pan in america by d h lawrence uh, uh, earlier in earlier lecture i have given a detailed descriptions about uh, what is what is the essay is about and uh, with the help of the different references from internet uh, there are different sites and uh, different books i have consulted with and i'm delivering this lecture and today i'm going to continue that lecture uh, uh, and this is the second part uh, this is for six semester students of english major of guwahati university so dh lawrence in fact uh, what we are discussing pan in america uh, it's 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 uh, it's the it's a arguing uh, lawrence is arguing for a form of life that does not subject itself to mechanized format but rather opens up to engage with the vast possibilities of living that a sustained environment with the environment facilities what what we are now experience which was experienced by lawrence before 100 years back in 1926 in fact this lawrence this essay was published in southwest review Uh, in 19, uh, January in 19, uh, 1926, and in those days, uh, nature was, uh, to some extent, uh, especially in England, due to the industry, due to the effect of industrial revolution, uh, then the nature is degrading day by day, and this concern is, uh, which is, uh, uh, which is experience, which is reflected in various novels uh, uh, of English, English novelist, particularly, for example. Uh, D. H. Uh, Lawrence as well as uh, Joseph Conrad, and you can uh, take the example of uh, Robert Llewellyn. How green was my valley? It's also a coal. Coal. How coal has affected the entire valley? How the greenies are disappearing? Greenies nature is disappearing. So, considering all those things, hundred uh, years back, hundred fifty years back, two hundred years back. Uh, from uh, from the point uh, from the uh, from uh, the romantics especially from wordsworth to coleridge to sally kitch byron uh, everywhere in their writings what we have seen they have a concern for nature and this kind of different type of attitude different observations different uh, experience has been reflected in the writings of the english novelists especially in d h lawrence uh, Uh, this pan in america uh, here he is talking about uh, uh, environment it's a sustained environment which we have been expressing during this lockdown days we have uh, everything stopped in the world most of the countries are uh, forcing the lockdown people are not uh, going out so the cars are not running on the street even the um, uh, coals the industries the everything is stopped and because of this uh, sudden closeness sudden close down of everything every activities every industries every heart what we can say in wordsworth's language the every heart is stopped uh, like the london uh, so what we have seen uh, that our river is pure our water is pure our our air is pure everywhere there is a sense of uh, that uh, the, the animals they are moving freely uh, here in here and there so what we have observed during these days this is we can call this is a sustained kind of um, uh, sustained kind of environment where we can uh, live together uh, so uh, perhaps uh, maybe uh, we can minimize certain commercial activities so that we can uh, freely stand uh, so we can uh, we can freely the nature also can stand so what what but particularly uh, the s lawrence which was published in i already told in 1926 uh, almost a century ago uh, he call uh, for a reciprocal understanding of the world in which we live not only uh, remains very vital to the state of the world it also brings to the limelight the importance of the joy of submitting oneself freely to the environment that mold us from the beginning because in the environment we our all, all we, we our all characters are molding in the environment what we have seen especially 
in uh, uh, in Lawrence essay in in Lawrence essay again he is describing uh, certain um, certain uh, very interesting uh, very interesting uh, observation we have seen that uh, it's, it's it's a sweeping inquiry into the being and the sustained considerations of humanity's position alongside the many actors of the natural world quote i quote pan in america quote unquote offers an apt coda to green modernism because it re restates the book's major themes nature is important to modernism nature is discursive force in modernist social negotiations and nature's material presence has been swept under the carpet of consciousness in the context of lawrence literary output from the 1920s pan quote unquote is another place lawrence redeems the material world for a culture lost in instrumental and idealist paradigms of existence pan quote unquote describes and in a sense prescribes a life world shared by human and non-human actors who all have agency and mutually shape the pattern of experience the rocks and the animals and the image of pan himself combined to displace the cartesian orthodoxy of an inert world at the feet of an active human subject in its place lawrence offers readers nasser as a complex material realm where vigorous things interpenetrate human experience and where quote unquote where man quote unquote is redeemed by quote unquote a ceaseless living relation to his surrounding universe quote unquote pan quote unquote strikes out an ontological position that subverts the romanticism of which lawrence is accused and anticipates today's discussion of materialism the non-human turn object oriented ontology and the limits of post structuralism in uh, again what we are discussing in this essay if we again uh, discuss uh, the well, then the green modernism so what we what what green modernism is there is a book uh, by uh, mccarthy and jeffrey matthews which was published by palgrave macmillan uh, published in 1915 it's green modernism so in green modernism what he he is talking about it is one of the first studies to expose the relationship between environment criticism and british modernism green modernism explores the cultural function of nature in the modernist world or in the modernist novel between 1900 to 1930 this theoretically engaged historically informed book brings new materialistic insights to novels by joseph conrad ford d h lawrence and barts etc so these are the novelist writings their essays this can be analyzed with a context of green modernism so lawrence pan aims to reimagine the world of profit and war and instrumental region and it posits a world of nature's active relationships as a prototype for reforming the 20th century so this is how we analyze the essay in terms of the existence of environment and man and human being as well as non human being the relationship in between so uh, i think you will comprehend the essay you'll go through uh, it with different references and it will be helpful thank you thank you very much